Hi guys, Chet here. Today I'm going to compare Microsoft Planner and Microsoft Loop, two tools from the Microsoft 365 family that aim to improve productivity and team collaboration in very different ways. I'll compare their features, pricing, user experience, integrations, and more. So without further delay, let's get started. First off, let's talk about what these tools are made for. Microsoft Planner helps you manage your tasks easily. You can create boards, group tasks and buckets and set due dates and even track progress with a simple visual layout. It's great for teams that need a basic tool to meet deadlines without getting overcomplicated. On the other hand, Microsoft Loop is all about real-time collaboration. It's like a mix of Notion and a digital whiteboard. It uses portable components that sync across Teams, Outlook, and Loop pages. Loop creates shared workspaces where teams can write, brainstorm, and even edit content together in one flexible space. Let's take a look at features. Planner is all about keeping things very organized. You get task cards where you can add checklists, labels, attachments, and even comments. You can switch between a grid view or a calendar view to see what's coming up, and it works directly with Microsoft Teams and To Do so that tasks sync automatically without you really having to do anything extra. Meanwhile, Microsoft Loop is much more flexible. It uses something called Loop Components, which are blocks of content like lists, tables, or tasks. Now, these blocks can be used in emails, team chats, and even in documents. Everything updates in real time. So if you change something in Teams, it updates everywhere else instantly. It's designed for teams that need to work together quickly and get creative. Now when it comes to user experience, Planner does feel more familiar if you've already used other Microsoft 365 apps. It looks a lot like Trello or Asana and is super easy to use for tracking tasks. It is a good choice for teams that want something simple and quick to get started with. On the other hand, Microsoft Loop feels fresh and modern. The interface is clean and smooth and once you understand how all of the components work, it becomes a very powerful tool. But it might take a little time to get used to, especially for teams who are familiar with traditional documents or fixed task boards. Now let's talk about pricing. Microsoft Planner comes free with any Microsoft 365 plan. If you need more features, Planner Plan 1 costs $10 per month, Planner Project Plan 3 is $30 per month, and Planner and Project Plan 5 is $55 per month per user. All plans are billed annually. Meanwhile, Microsoft Loop doesn't have separate pricing since it's included in Microsoft 365. So which one should you choose? If you need a simple way to manage tasks and then assign work, Planner is a great option. It's straightforward and it's very reliable. But if your team loves brainstorming and working together on documents, Microsoft Loop is a solid option. It's perfect for modern teams who want to bring everything into one collaborative space instead of juggling multiple tools. All right, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.